Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Marvelous Monday. We want to say congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams for winning the Super Bowl on yesterday. On this day, we like to pause also to say happy Valentine's Day to all of you who are celebrating Valentine's Day. I hope you will give great big hugs and love to all of those people that you love in your life and make sure that they know that they have been blessed to have you and you are so blessed to have them in their life as well. Today, as we pause to look at black history, we want to take a moment today to look at the life of Robert Carlos DeLodge. He served as a Republican and the member of the U.S. Congress for less than a full term. He was elected in 1870 and began his term on March 4, 1871. However, he left Congress on January 24, 1873, within two months of completion of his term, where he vacated the term. It was because of his death on February 14th, this day in 1874. One of his greatest speeches that he gave was about the 14th Amendment of the Constitution, which grants all African-American citizens the right to vote. And especially he focused on all of those persons who were in South Carolina. Thank you so very much, Robert Carlos DeLodge, for what you did for all of us as Americans. Today, I'd like for us to look at Psalm 120, a very powerful psalm. This is a psalm for the pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem. Uh, this is that psalm where we begin to read in the wisdom literature. It's a psalm that talks about, in our times of trouble, the Lord will hear us and he will answer our prayers. You know, we live in a country and a world because of our love for God and love for each other. It seems that we are in troubling times. We're in troubling times when we see how so many people are being disenfranchised, how so many people are applying for jobs and can't get jobs because people are just going through the motions of, 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 of saying I interviewed them, but the job was already promised to someone else. When you and I begin to look at the times in which we live, we see what's happening in Europe. We see what's happening all over this world and all over this country. These are troubling times. The Bible tells us that we can take our troubles to the Lord and we can leave them with God and he will hear and answer our prayers. I don't know about you, but whenever it's a time where we celebrate a day of love, it's good to know that we're loved by Almighty God. And that God loves us with an everlasting love. And he will not let his children suffer longer than they need to. You know, oftentimes we forget and we must remind ourselves some of the troubles that we've had in our lives. It's purely because some of the ones we've brought upon ourselves or because someone else didn't do what they should have done. And now we are feeling the brunt of it. Today, it lets us know that the Lord will rescue us. He will rescue us from deceitful people, from liars. That means that when those who would like to say things against us, that is not true. God is our advocate. God will defend us. God will defend us from every foe. In our times of trouble, we can call upon the Lord. Today, if you're dealing with trouble in life, trouble in a relationship, trouble in employment, do know that God hears and God answers prayer. The Bible tells us that he will make sure that he takes good care of us. And this Psalm 120, it says that even though we see the pains of those that are around us, the pain of those in different countries, God will come to our rescue. Why? Because the Bible reminds us he's a very, very present help in the time of need. On a day like today, a Valentine's Day that we call. But remember, every day is a day that God loves us, God cares for us, and God wraps his arms around us. Today, if you may not have physically had someone to embrace you, to tell you that they love you and you love them, use it as a moment to say, God, I need for you to wrap your loving arms around me and remind me that you love me and that you care so much for me. Today, all of us need to know that God loves us. He wraps his arms around us every day. When we can only tune into the frequency where he is, we'll find out he has a love letter for us every morning. In God's word, God tells us how much he loves us. He loves us so much so that he doesn't want us to perish, but he wants us to have eternal life. He gave himself to us. He wrapped himself up in human flesh and became a personal love manifested in the form of Jesus the Christ. And then not only that, he gives us his love through and by his spirit, the spirit of God who reminds us that we're loved 
and you can read in the book of the Bible from cover to cover how God has always had an everlasting love relationship with all of humanity. So today, on this day of love, know that you're loved by God and share that love with someone else because whatever the troubles we have, all we have to do is cast our cares upon him because he cares for us. And this year of 2022, do know that God has a blessing just in store for you and I'll see you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.